I have a problem. Or I did have a problem before I made something. I made this, which looks like nothing. Uh, it works, but I did not as I wanted it to. I tried, but I just couldn't do it because my little monkey brain can't figure out how things work. All I wanted was something like to, to well, to hurt me. <laughs> At first I tried this little spray bottle. I was like planning to, whenever my back wasn't straight, my thing, little thing would detect that my back wasn't straight and it would spray me in the face. Uh, but this little, this little thing right here, um, it's too heavy or too like hard for any motor that I have to pull down. So, uh, so that didn't work. I, I tried putting rubber bands on it, like, to do it reverse. I was like, I was trying all these things, didn't work, whatever. I went as far to get this math book, or I found this math book, uh, which sounds kind of impressive at first, like, oh, you, you, like, went as far, you, like, read a math book, you're trying to, like, calculate, like, how, how much pressure you need on that. Nope, I wanted to duct tape it to my ceiling, and when my back wasn't straight, I wanted it to, to fall on my head. But I, uh, once again, couldn't figure it out. Because my little monkey brain. And finally, and I was, I was this close, I was so close to getting something that hurt me, I found this little motor right here, uh, and this fan, and it connects to it, right? And uh, if you make it spin fast enough, you like give it enough volts, uh, it becomes like a little mini weed whacker, and it really hurts. Um, uh, you might realize it only has one, one wire, because the other wire uh, is right over here. This This black wire was supposed to connect right there, um, but I ripped it off, because I tried way too many times, uh, I'm gonna plug this back in. This one's about to fall off also. Uh, also I think I'm really blurry right now. So eventually it just snapped off, and now there's no metal to connect it to. So, yeah. Whoops. I have, I have two different brands of rip-off LaCroix, um, and my sustenance for today. Uh, an orange and a, and a bar that I found. Um, so yeah, uh, here's, here's the thing, this right here. So it's still, it's still connected and set up to power, uh, my mini weed whacker of death. Uh, actually, I'll show you that. Ugh, I have to, I have to move my computer to the left, because this is so stupid. You see how, see how long this is? It's such a tiny cable to connect to the Arduino. Like, if my, if my computer were on my desk, it couldn't, it couldn't even... I couldn't even place my Arduino on the, on the ground or on my table. It'd have to like be on top of my computer. It's so small. Okay, here it is. My little mini weed whacker. Uh, that that hurts <laughs> a lot. I have like I have scars now because of this little thing. Um, okay, the key it it falls off because this little thing can't connect that. And you might be thinking, well, Burke, it's cool and all, uh, but how does it work? It looks like crap, and that's because it is crap. But, if we open up the code, whoa, that's bright. If we open up the code, that's all the code is. Uh, very messy, all of it's, like, super messy. Other than the parts then uh, that I copied, if we just open up the COM port, you can see it's, it's spamming the word hurt. That's because it's supposed to hurt me right now. We turn this little thing up. Upwards, and then it says normal. Prints out normal. Uh, right there. Uh, I don't know why I said normal. Probably that doesn't make sense, actually. I guess normally I'm not getting hurt. <laughs> um, I guess that makes sense. Uh, we don't even need this stupid little transistor anymore. The code's still set up to do this whole, um, fan thing. Yeah, I usually just program. Don't do any comments. Put, make my variable names like single digits, single letters. Uh, and then just forget about it and hope that I never have to look back on it. Uh, so I just duct tape uh, all this stuff to my chair. Also, this is an, uh, an autofocusing camera, and I'm not good at focusing it, so if my face is a blur, then I guess that's good, because you don't have to look at my face. Now somewhere here, here we go, uh, if I can untangle this mess. Um, um, ah, uh, oh no. Uh, I probably shouldn't have just thrown this on my desk. Wait. Okay. Okay. I did it. It was taking so long that I started watching a YouTube video. Because uh, my little stupid Generation Z brain can't go five minutes without some sort of stimulation. So I just poke these into the seams of my shirt. I'll uh, see if I can... Ow. There we go. So now I look like, uh, um, I don't know, a really weird person. <laughs> uh, and we, we just strap this little string... Oh. 
Aha, there we go. Okay. Perfect. And, oh, I forgot to tell you about this. I set up a Python script. Uh, I, I couldn't connect to the communications port um, because I'm stupid. I, I, I tried a lot. <laughs> Again, I swear, I tried a lot. I couldn't figure out how to connect to the communications port that my Arduino is outputting to. So, once again, uh, as I did last time, I'm just using photo processing with Python um, to capture what's what it's printing out. And when it so when it detects that my Arduino is outputting the text hurt, um, it plays a audio file, uh, which is just a text to speech bot that I got uh, calling me an idiot. There you go. There you go. Okay, my back's straight. Nothing's happening. I think this is a little radical for uh normal normal people don't look normal, normal people don't look like this i might have to turn down the sensitivity a bit every time my back is not like perfectly straight and pulling oh it broke so yeah every time my back is not straight like this then this little piece of string moves down and then this little this little knob uh moves back downwards because the string's not pulling it up and then my Arduino detects that it's moved downwards through an uh, analog port, and then it prints out hurt on my screen, and then Python is all, or I'm running another Python program that detects and photoprocesses what it's printing out. If it detects that it's printing out the words hurt, then it uh, plays an audio file that I downloaded from a text-to-speech bot that says idiot. This is actually probably one of the first things that I'm actually going to like use a lot, uh, my projects. No, I'm not. This is so stupid. <laughs> it looks so weird. Um, oh my god. Oh. Well, this is the end of the video. Uh, if you liked it, this is going to be a short video, isn't it? Uh, if you liked it, subscribe and like and comment. Tell me something, please. Yeah, if you don't subscribe, I will personally do nothing, I guess. So yeah, goodbye.